President Donald Trump has again traded barbs with North Korea, shortly before offering to mediate in a heated regional dispute. He took to Twitter to complain he would never call North Korean leader Kim Jong-un short and fat, after its foreign ministry called him old. It was one of a series of remarks he made on social media before volunteering his services over maritime claims in the South China Sea. I'm a very good mediator, he said. China, Vietnam, the Philippines, Taiwan, Malaysia and Brunei all have competing claims to territory in the South China Sea. Tensions with China have been high in both Vietnam and the Philippines, inflamed by the former island building and naval patrols. A framework for a code of conduct was agreed in August, but this is still only an outline, with more negotiations due to take place before it can be legally binding. Mr. Trump, who has long styled himself as a dealmaker, suggested his expertise could aid the process. If I can help mediate or arbitrate, please let me know, Mr. Trump told his Vietnamese counterpart, Tran Dai Quang, at the Asia-Pacific Economic Cooperation Summit in Hanoi. Mr. Trump's own dispute with North Korea continues to escalate, at least in the insults traded across Twitter and in official statements. On Saturday, North Korea denounced Mr. Trump's Asia trip, calling it a warmonger's visit and again described the president as a dotard, a centuries-old insult for an elderly person. Mr. Trump responded with a passive-aggressive tweet, suggesting he would never call Mr. Kim was short and fat, and complaining, oh well, I try so hard to be his friend, and maybe someday that will happen. The president also tweeted out a short tirade over criticism of his handling of Russian President Vladimir Putin. Mr. Trump told reporters on Saturday that he trusted the Russian leader's word that Russia had not attempted to interfere with the U.S. election, despite a consensus among U.S. intelligence agencies to the contrary. When will all the haters and fools out there realize that having a good relationship with Russia is a good thing, not a bad thing, the president wrote. They're, sick, always playing politics, bad for our country. I want to solve North Korea, Syria, Ukraine, terrorism, and Russia can greatly help," he added. He later clarified, after intense criticism, that he supported U.S. intelligence agencies in their conclusion. As to whether or not I believe it or not, I'm with our agencies. I believe in our intelligence agencies, he said. What he believes, he believes, he added, of Mr. Putin's belief that Russia did not meddle.